Hello, and welcome to The Listening Room, a spirituality podcast brought to you by SpiritSourceConnect.com. My name is Suzanne Goulet, and the following podcast is an introduction to therapeutic-grade gemstones and why I use them in my healing and coaching practice. To view any of the currently available gemstone selections, please visit spiritsourceconnect.com forward slash shop. Enjoy! Greetings and welcome. This is Suzanne Goulet. You can be listening to this as you do other things in the background. I do encourage you to go visit the store and see what kind of necklaces and gemstones I have available because I will be talking about the nature of the quality of energy in gemstones. So why are we using gemstones at Spirit Source Connect? Humanity has always been very drawn to the beauty of gemstones and has coveted them as some of the most sacred and precious materials of value on our earth. They have been coveted by royalty and pirates alike, adorning crowns and filling treasure chests with the items of beauty the earth has worked so hard to form. They are rare and extraordinary. They have been used to expel demons, attract wealth, and symbolize the presence of divinity in so many cultures. And the reason humanity has been so drawn to gemstones from the beginning of time is because they instinctively sense the energies that gemstones hold within. Also throughout the ages, there has been a plethora of claims around what a gemstone will and will not do. Countless authors have surmised their opinions, intuitions, hearsay, and folklore around the powerful energies contained in precious gems. More recently, a book of channeled materials has come out called Gemisphere Luminary that I find has the clearest, most concise, and relevant information on the energetic qualities of the top 30 therapeutic gemstones available to us today. This book explains that much of the reason mixed or no results have been available to humanity through gemstones in the past is because we have been deliberately kept in the dark as to how to most powerfully utilize these energies. That by withholding this information, humanity had the opportunity to evolve itself to a point where it could responsibly use the power of gemstones. And, as a test, we are now given a small amount of information to see how we will use it and what we will do with it. Humanity has arrived at the point where a certain number of us are now ready to use the true power of gemstones to benefit ourselves and humanity. Although the information in this book was generated by a channel, it is through my own discernment as a channel that I can see the very clear and pure nature of this artist. I have been so moved by the identification of the gemstone guardians that I moved to Carlsbad, California to enter school and earned my graduate gemologist certification. It is very important that stones are accurately identified as there are so many lower quality and synthetic versions available on the market today. I believe the power inherent in the knowledge given belongs to us all. Gemstones are Earth's life force and her gift to us to continue to do well for her and ourselves. I believe this is one of the most important roles that conscious beings have on the planet today. This is why I have taken it upon myself to become educated and certified in stone identification and learned the professional trade practices in construction and knotting of beaded necklaces. As you may be aware, much of the material coming from Spirit in the Spirit Source Connect meditations and energetic transmissions includes the energies of color. We are often filled with specific color and then told of the beneficial effects of each color in the color ray spectrum. Our transmissions include blends of color 
shades, hues, and varying strengths and timidity. I have felt each color ray to have a very distinct personality and purpose in the world. I have recognized the white light from source breaking down and differentiating into the various color rays, much the same way a prism transforms a beam of light into a spectrum of rainbow. Genuine gemstones formed from intense heat and pressure deep in the earth over thousands of years contain exactly these color rays in their various forms. Amethyst carries the purple ray, for example, and the red ray is present in ruby, rose quartz, rhodochrosite, and pink tourmaline. It is said that the crystalline veins running through the ground are the central nervous system of Gaia, energized by her chakra system. By wearing gemstone necklaces, each of these color rays directly feeds and nourishes our own chakra system with that which was formed in the earth in a highly magnified manner. Worn in the right form, the energy present within a single sphere of crystal quartz, for example, has a thousand times more energy extending outward than our own bodies. Therapeutic grade gemstones, those of the highest cut, color, and clarity, have the ability to create positive change in the entire body, in one's mind, heart, and spiritual capacity. Be aware, however, gemstones that are of poor quality or have been cut and faceted in traditional ways lose their ability to uniformly receive and extend energy from source to you. Stones that are encased in any kind of metal, for example, will have much of their power constrained by that metal and will have no effect at all. So that fabulous emerald ring you got from Grandma, it may be very pretty, but will have little energetic effect on your body or your soul. Thank you for listening. To view any of the therapeutic gemstones currently available, please visit spiritsourceconnect.com forward slash shop. Enjoy!